Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another product review. And today's product review is going to be yet another flashlight. But this is from Through Night, one of my favorite companies. And yes, they sent me another light to try out here on the channel. So I'm very thankful. So as you guys know, I got this for free so you guys can decide if it affects my review in any way. And it looks like we are going to be taking a look at the TN12 Pro. You guys know that out of all the flashlight companies that have sent me products, Through Night is the company that has honestly impressed me the most. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. I think it's kind of a general purpose EDC flashlight. I think it's supposed to be a little bit big and robust as compared to like a keychain flashlight. But let me adjust the camera. Let's open this box and let's see what's inside. All right, so as always, here's the cardboard box that these three nights come in. And yes, even though it is cardboard, it is pretty nice and attractive. The only complaint I ever really have, I know this is a small gripe because it's just the packaging and you're probably going to throw it away anyway. I just wish that they would put the barcode somewhere else on the box instead of right over their logo. In case you did want to save it for some reason. Let's go ahead and open this thing up, see what's inside. Obviously, we have the light here. We'll take that out. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's see what else comes in the box. We've got the foam. we got a user manual. We've got a lanyard, some extra parts like always. Looks like we got a little clip if you want to put it on your hat. We have, of course, a charging cable. And we have a carrying case. I like that as well. They always include carrying cases in their larger lights. I do appreciate that a lot. All right, so let's get all of this to the side. Let's take a look at this light. So here it is. It's the Through Night TN12 Pro. Pretty good size. You can see the size of my hand here and how big this light is. We have a little warning label right here that says, I believe it's supposed to be screw on the cap before using. That's what they almost always say. Yep, it's what it does. So I'll go ahead and just pull this off and I will tighten that down. This is supposed to be watertight, so I guess if you drop it in the lake or in some water for a short period of time, it should be fine. So I do know it has some O-rings here at all these points where everything screws on. All right, so let's see how the controls work. I know we got a button here, we got a button in the back. So I'm going to assume the button on the back works like all of the others, where if I lightly press it down and hold, it should turn on. Yes, it does. And then if I push the button and it clicks, it should stay on. Okay, and that's going to be on the turbo setting, and that is really bright. Then we got the button here on the side, and usually this is for the adjustments. So I think if I hold it down, it should go into firefly mode or moonlight mode, and yeah, it's on there. I've never actually used this mode on any flashlight. I'm not really sure why they have it. Even in very dark places, it's still too dim for me. Let's see if I turn that off. Okay, then I think if I push it once, it should go to a low setting. Maybe not. Sometimes you gotta figure that out. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So, mastering those clicks there. So there's the low setting, as you can see. And then I think if I click it two or three times, yep, it goes right back to that turbo setting. And most likely, if I do it three times, it should have a strobe setting. Yep, and that's pretty much the same for all of the through night lights. I do like the fact that the buttons are separate. I don't like it when it's just one button, you gotta master those clicks. I just like these type of lights where I can just click it one time and we are good to go. And of course with the temporary on and off. So I think that is fantastic. All right, so I'm real happy with the way this light looks, the way it functions. So let me turn off the lights here in the garage and let's see what the beam looks like. All right, so here we are, as always, looking at that little alcove in the back of my garage, and I'm gonna read you the stats on this real fast. This light has a few settings. It has turbo, which is 1,900 lumens. High is 550 lumens. Medium is 220. Low is 50, and Firefly is 0.5 lumens. And if you do use the strobe setting, it is 560 lumens. All right, so that is the power. Let me go ahead and turn off the light here, and let's see what this beam looks like. All right, so here's the garage all dark. We're gonna to try to go through a few of these settings and just more or less see what the quality of the beam is and how centered the hotspot is. Let's go ahead and see if we can try the Firefly mode. That is pretty darn dim, but I have to say for being here in the garage, 
that 0.5 lumens is pretty good. I know the camera is not going to pick up on that very well, but it is brighter than most of the Firefly mode, so I do like that. All right, let me see if I can now go to the medium. That's pretty good. So I can tell you right now that hotspot is pretty darn centered. You don't really have a lot of spill. I do like the more centered hotspots in general, especially if I'm going to have an EDC light because I will use this for walking around the neighborhood at night, walking the dogs and things. All right, so now let's go, of course, to the bright turbo mode. And man, oh man, is that bright. And that hotspot is pretty darn centered. I do like this light. It does say that this is a cool white light. Now, from just holding this for just a moment, this light is actually getting pretty hot. Now, I'm not used to this from most of the through night lights. So yeah, this light is actually getting very warm to the touch. And that concerns me a little bit because it has that lithium battery in there and that might hurt the battery over time, not let it charge or damage it. So yeah, as I'm leaving the light on, it is now getting uncomfortable to hold. Yeah, if I hold it up towards the bezel, I think I could actually get burned a little bit. The light is very, very bright, but even in the back of the hilt or the handle, it is pretty darn warm. Wow, I was not expecting this. I like the light's performance, but this heat is really scaring me. So that's the only concern I think I have. All right, so let me turn the lights back on. I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so you guys know I tell it how it is. I know sometimes people accuse me of being a shill, whether it comes to gun reviews or EDC gear reviews. But I'm going to tell you, even though Through Night is one of my favorite flashlight companies, I'm very surprised by this one. I don't like how hot it gets. Now, on that turbo mode, I just looked on the instruction manual. It says it's only supposed to be on for about 130 seconds, so about 2 minutes and 10 seconds. However, I didn't even have it on that long when I was showing you the beam, and it got very hot. In fact, it was so hot, I probably could have burned myself. And it's not just a danger to you, but I also worry about the internal electronics, the emitter, that LED, and of course the battery. Lithium ion batteries should not be getting that hot and if it's in a contained unit like that I'm a little bit nervous. So you guys know I always tell you how it is. So normally on these through night flashlights I give them a lot of praise but this one I don't think I can rate as high. It's very bright. The reflector is not an orange peel reflector and that's why it has that centered hot spot. I think I do like that. But man, does this thing get hot. Not just warm, but uncomfortably hot. So that's definitely gonna knock it down a few points. So on my star system, how would I rate? The NT12 Pro. Well, I like the size. I like how bright it is. I like the functions. I like the design. But it gets hot, very hot. And because of that, I'm only going to give this two out of five stars. Yes, I know, maybe through night will never send me another light again. But guys, I just got to tell you how it is. I think through night makes great products. In fact, the EDC light that I carry, the T1, is with me all the time. And I thought this one might be something that I would add to my carry rotation. But as hot as it gets, well, I have to really think about it. I might only want to use it on its medium setting. But, ouch, it gets hot. That's my biggest concern. So I'm only going to have to give it two out of five stars on this review. I'm so sorry, Through Night, but I always tell my subscribers how it is. So here it is. If you're interested, I will put a link in the description if you want to know more about it. But this was just my documented experiences. So nice flashlight, good design, like the controls, but it gets hot. I almost burnt my left hand. So there you go. Do you guys own one of these? Have you ever had a flashlight that got that hot that it was uncomfortable to carry or uncomfortable to hold? I'm curious if so, and please tell me in the comments what flashlights they were, because I think that a flashlight that gets so hot that it's uncomfortable and can burn you might be a little bit of a danger. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, thanks for watching.